but it's time to move beyond burgers, pizza, and mac and cheese because Dave Edelman is here today with a list of incredible local restaurants that you say will get people out of their comfort zone. So let's start with this. What does that even mean to be in like a restaurant comfort zone? Dan, you know you get off a plane and your ears pop and you can hear again. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you go out for Brazilian food or Indian food and then you go back to your same neighborhood Italian place and get the spaghetti and meatballs, right. you're gonna have the same experience. Like, oh my God, this is the best spaghetti and meatballs I ever had. You need to mix it up to maximize your dining experience. All right, so here's a good place to get out of your comfort zone. A lot of our fans like Mexican food. They yes. love Mexican food, but have they ever really had legit, true, authentic Mexican food? If they want to try that, get out of the comfort zone, go to East Boston, go to a place called Angela's Cafe. Yeah, not a lot of people know about this place, but fun, colorful, totally authentic Mexican food from owners that were born in Mexico. I like to start with fresh guacamole and a pitcher of sangria. The tacos are spectacular. They have delicious shrimp dishes. But if you really want to get out of your comfort zone, go for a Mexican breakfast okay. and get the Dolce de Leche crepe. Hmm. It's a warm, fresh rolled crepe filled with homemade caramel, topped with a mix of chocolate and mango sauces. And if that gets too wild for you, you can find approximately 75,000 Dunkin' Donuts in one square mile of East Boston. <laughs> Very good point. Yeah, they make that crepe for dessert, and it is delicious. All right, now, let's go to Chinatown. Talk about a place to send people to get out of their comfort zone. Don't go to your neighborhood Chinese takeout. Right. Go to Chinatown. But you like a place that does something really different. It's called Shabu Zen on Tyler Street. What yeah, is it? I mean, if you're going to pop into Chinatown, it is not poo-poo platter time. Right. you got to get a a little while. This is one of the nicer restaurants in Chinatown specializing in shabu shabu cooking. So you sit at the counter, they bring out the pot of bubbling hot broth. You get your choice of steak, chicken, seafood, and you cook it along with the sauces, the vegetables, the noodles. It's a really fun way to dine. You know, go on a date, and if it's going well, you can take a romantic stroll down Tyler Street. Absolutely. They also have a location in Alston, which is quite romantic as well, of course. <laughs> right. Now let's talk about bakeries, okay? Everyone goes to the Italian bakery. They go to the French bakery. Have they ever gone to a Middle Eastern bakery? If you want to get out of your comfort zone, they can go to a place called Sofra. You like this one a lot. Yeah, like all bakeries, I mean, you walk in and the smells just take over. I mean, you want everything in the store. So they have exotic ingredients here and the aromas are beautiful, but don't be looking for cupcakes and M&M cookies here <laughs> because their specialty is authentic pastries from Turkey, Lebanon, and Greece. They make amazing stuff, flatbreads and roll-ups for lunch, amazing desserts like baklava and flaky tarts. I like the morning bun. Mm -hmm. This is a sticky bun with a Middle Eastern twist buttery cinnamon brioche dough and fluffy drizzled sweet orange glaze. Beautiful. That's yeah. right on the Cambridge and Watertown line. Now speaking of Watertown, this is a restaurant that got out of its own comfort zone. The name of the place is Striptease. We have been going there for years, then all of a sudden they made like this radical change. Explain what happened here. One of my favorite stories we've done on the show because it was a local lunch spot, traditional sandwiches and seafood. The owner's son was working in a way high-end kitchen in New York City. He came back, took over the kitchen, and this became one of the most beloved restaurants for food lovers around. Menu changes every day. It's a great place to eat and get out of your comfort zone. They'll do gourmet stuff, but they also do great chicken wings with boxy soda, or for lunch, you can get a gourmet burger that is out of this world. Yeah, and the chef, Tim Maslow, you were talking about, he just opened up a new place, an Italian restaurant in Brooklyn called Ribelle, and I can't wait till Phantom tries that. All right, good tip.